Let's move on to another state. There is Ohio. And as you guys know, J.D. Vance, who's been on the show, Republican is running against Tim Ryan, Democrat. Uh, and the debate, which was last week, was, a, was I think, a real knockout for uh, J.D. over Tim Ryan. He just really went at him. We're, we're seeing Republicans who are finally just not accepting the endless, oh, the narrative is that we are just all racist bigots. Uh, we're actually going to fight back. We're not just going to take it anymore. You, we have a. So the, we have a. Hold on, JD. Stop no, this is me. this is disgusting. I, I'd like to get. Here's exactly what happens when the media and people like Tim Ryan accuse me of engaging the great, great replacement theory. I'll tell you, you exactly, peddling it. I'll you tell you exactly what happens, Tim. What happens is that my own children, my biracial children, get attacked by scumbags online and in person because you are so desperate for political power that you'll accuse me, the father of three beautiful biracial babies, of engaging in racism. We are sick of it. You can believe in a border without being a racist. You can believe in the, the country without being a racist. And this just shows how desperate this guy is for political power. I know you've been in office for 20 years, Tim, and I know it's a sweet gig, but you're so desperate not to have a real job that you'll slander me and slander my family. It's disgraceful. Fighting back, right? Like saying the truth. Uh, JD happens to be married to an Indian woman, so she is, let's say, of brown skin. Now, Tim uh, Tim Ryan obviously doesn't care about that, and, and and that's the point. These these attacks, these oh, you are just a racist because you're a Republican. You are just a bigot because you want a border. It ain't working anymore, and that's why they're getting more hysterical. That's why they're always moving to this now. Democracy's under threat because the cries of racism really did fall flat. And what they've also done is they've done the boy who cries wolf. Now when the real racists are here, when the real bigots get out there and say, and say awful things, a lot of people won't care.